Good morning, everybody. It's me again, Crazy Bag Lady. So it's, I was about to say it's Monday. It's not Monday, June. It's Tuesday. It's Tuesday morning. I'm all alone. I've got so many jobs to do. And I think, I know loads of us have said this, housework is never ending. Like, you spend all week cleaning up, and by the following week, it's just as bloody dusty and dirty and untidy again. It does my head in. So, we're all alone. I'm going to get dressed, and I'm just going to charge shop. I'm just going to ignore all the jobs. I can wait till I get home. I'm sick of it. <laughs> so, weather. It's a bit gloomy today, I'm afraid. There's not much sunshine. Don't think it's going to rain, but it's just not very nice. Where's my favourite ladies? Hello, everybody. Hello. So we really need to make some more of these pig ladies. I think we need to make loads and get them sent all over the world to brighten our days up. They're so cute. I love them so much. So calendar of the day. I've just done all my lovely Ava makeup. Um, I've got my lovely magic serum on, which makes you feel younger. It's funny because I stopped using it for a few days and we're just testing out some cheapest um, face cream that Ruby had found in a bedroom and I really really could tell. So this is what I was using. Ruby found it in a bedroom. Boots, glow, moisturising cream and I thought mm, that would be nice. So I tested it for a couple of days. You know after about three days I really noticed that I wasn't using my Avon. I started to look quite tired around my eyes. Uh, my skin definitely wasn't the same so I've gone back on my Avon sometimes I think is it that good but you know when you then test something different I thought Jane that Avon is good so I use this around my eyes that on my skin it's brilliant so although the boots was good I think it was a bit more suited to well probably Ruby's skin bless her um anyway so calendar Tuesday Ooh, the queen of stress there's me there is me right there that is how I often feel <laughs> so like I said we're gonna hurry up and get dressed um I've done my makeup so we'll hurry up get dressed have breakfast and then we're just gonna go for a quick charity shop rummage while we're on our own breakfast so breakfast this morning I've got one wheat mix with some blueberries I was so naughty last night Sometimes you just lose it, don't you? And I sat there and munched crisps, ice lollies, sweets. I actually made myself feel sick because I ate so much rubbish. Um, sometimes you just have to get out of your system. I've been so good since about June, so I just fell off the wagon and had a load of rubbish. But we're back on it again today, so I need to enjoy my breakfast. Here I am, <laughs> good little friend. So, lipstick of the day. I've got no get up and go in me. I never seem to be able to get out the door early. I'm on my own, there's nobody else to blame. And I'm just faffing, it's already 20 past 10. It's so late. Uh, so, lipstick of the day say is, da -da -da. I've got Avon Just Peachy on, uh, which is really lovely. It just gives you like a lovely twinkle to your lips. It's so nice. I'm still not quite 100%. My voice is still a bit croaky and I'm still blowing my nose. I cannot believe how long this cold has hung on for, but it has just been only a week. So I suppose we're a lot better than we were last week, but whew, I've been so poorly when you really think about it. Anyway, so we need to hurry up. I've got a parcel to drop off. I think I've got to fetch my neighbour's paper and it's like whew, so many boring bits to do as well. Anyway, we need to hurry up. Oh, I'm time to go at all. Right, I think I'm ready. We've gone for green today. Um, same jeans as yesterday. A little top um, and a little blazer. I don't know if I need a blazer on or not. I can't wait up what the weather is, but anyway, let's go for a little rummage. Mm, right, car. So we're not in Percy. We're not in my red car. Um, basically, my husband's blocked my car in, my red one. My little Percy, I'm not using just yet because we've got to sort out the private number plate on it and the insurance uh so we can't use percy yet which is a bit sad but we'll use him very very soon can't wait to use him uh so we're in my husband's little blue thing which is very cute let's go and at least the radio works in this which sometimes it doesn't work in my red one Back 
in the car. I'm still coughing. Oh. Right, so I'm back in the car. Uh, we're now going to nip to the charity shop. Um, I've just posted a little present, uh, something I've made to my lovely friend um, at Pep Talk Pebbles. I just think it's so nice sometimes to send people stuff and she sent me a lovely air freshener and some other little bits and bobs. So I've returned the favour and I've sent her a little gift. So I hope she enjoys it. Anyway, let's go. We've arrived. Fiat 500s literally are everywhere. <laughs> I love them. Uh, we've arrived and I've just driven past the two chair shops that are here and one of them is closed. So we might not be here very long. I'm very sad that that one is closed. I haven't been here for ages. And obviously it must be to do with the bank holiday yesterday and I never even thought and never even occurred to me that it might be shut. I hope the other one is open. I think it is. So let's go for a quick moment. Back in the car. So I did buy two things. Uh, nice little rummage. Luckily, it wasn't that exciting. Good job. Um, so I might go to my favourite one on the way back. It's twenty to twelve. Um, so I think we could go to my lovely one that I like, where it has all the nice bric a brac stuff. I think we might go there on the way back.
Hello. Hello, you all right? Yeah, I'm all right. How are you? Fine, thank you. Not see you for a bit. I like your big trunk. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you yeah, this morning. Yeah, wow. Yeah. I thought it was glass. It's not plastic. Yeah, when I first saw it, I thought, oh, yeah. that's beautiful. So I took the glass and picked it up. Plastic, yeah. Plastic. Very deceiving. So I hope you enjoyed that lovely rummage. I don't know what's going off with my hair. 
when I looked at myself in the mirror and trash out, I thought, Jane, you still look really like tired and just not 100%. It's horrible. Uh, anyway, so it's now half 12. Let's go home and get some dinner. I made it back. So it's about quarter to one. We should really be having a dinner, but it looks like it might rain. And I just thought, oh, I'm desperate to have a little doctor walk. We should have gone yesterday and we didn't. So I'll go for a walk. It's very exciting. Even Winifred wants to come. Let's go. Right, we've made it back. It's been a long morning. So we've got two Ravita Minis, um, not Ravita Minis, Ravita Thins, a tomato and dairy dunkers and a cup of coffee in my knackered but still a queen vlog. That's how I feel today. <laughs> so we'll eat this. Uh, then I've got a washer, empty dishwasher. I'll show you what I bought from the shop. I'm ring my mum and I need Hoover again. Oh, right, I've been on the phone to my mum for an hour talking, so I've been putting clothes away and faffing about. And then I thought, right, I'll start cooking my chicken. And then I realised I've not quite got enough. Um, so I do a bit more for my hubby and James because they really like it. So it's only 650 grams in here. I have 200 grams, so they'll only have 200 each and it wouldn't quite be enough. So I need to go and fetch just a small little packet of the chicken fillet so that I can make them a bit more. Right, so off we go again. So annoying. So obviously I've been past two supermarkets this morning. I'm so annoyed. Right, let's go. Back in the car again. So Ruby's just messaged me and said, can you come and pick me up from my friends? So that's quite good timing actually. So we'll go and get Ruby as well. Right, we're back again. So let's get this uh, spicy chicken rustled up finished so there's my light chickeny bits for my husband and james there's my chickeny bits the ruby doesn't like it so ruby's got plain chicken that i'm going to cook and i'm just going to put hers in a wrap with some mayo and cheese and stuff um but yeah so all it's got to do is be put in the oven so now i've got to go and take my neighbor's paper her granddaughter's messaged me saying she can't get a hold of her and they're really worried about her so i've got to go and check she's all right because her phone is like permanently engaged so she must have left her phone off the hook I really don't like going to check on old people. I'm not good in drama situations like this. So I hope that she's just left her phone off the hook. We need to go. Yeah, so it's a problem with your phone then, isn't it? Which is the way you sat down on the kitchen. I'm back again. A phone, a phone wasn't i don't really know what was wrong with it it just wasn't working so i twiddled about with it and i got it working for her so she's okay i don't like being responsible for people oh i don't want to open that door and like i'll be on the floor or something because i'm useless i'm useless in a crisis i'm not good at being a grown-up right my hubby's back from work so i've got to feed him then he goes off to work again so what did i buy from the charity shop so these are a couple of bits i did buy and i'll show you the other thing i bought as well I bought this. As you all know, I've always wanted to go to Paris. I've never been. And one day I will go to the Eiffel Tower, hopefully, when I sort myself out. <laughs> so, um, the Eiffel Tower keyring, it was 40p. And I think it might have actually come from Paris. It says Paris on there, and then it says France a lot. So, I would imagine it probably did come from a souvenir shop. Just loved it. And then I got this for Percy's Keys. I thought, I saw it, and it was also 40p. And I thought, it's pink-ish and I thought I need that to put on his key rings <laughs> so I can find his key yay so I also bought this jigsaw £3.50 um I looked on the internet while I was in the charity shop and they're about £37 new I can't believe they're £37 it's by somebody called Sophie Smith 
and it's another mindful one uh, i really enjoyed the other mindful one that i did but if all the pieces are blue it will probably send you around the bend um so i'm not sure how easy it'll be um i might save it till it gets a bit colder because it looks quite a wintry one it's quite cozy a bit christmasy um but how lovely for three pound fifty I got this super cute little jumper. It's a very, very short sleeved one, um, but it's 100% merino wool. So they keep you warm. They're great for like layering under cardigans and stuff in the winter as well. Um, I couldn't make my mind up in there because in that changing room, the lights are so dark. You can't really tell what stuff looks like. It's so annoying. Um, but I bought it. It was 4 99 though. It wasn't cheap. Um, a bit expensive really, but I liked it. Uh, my tattoo has come out. Look. Look how dark they are. They're so realistic from a distance. They fascinate me. Um, anyway, and then I bought this, which was also very expensive. Um, it was £8, which for a book is absolutely bonkers. But they are £15 new. And I had a quick look on eBay. And on eBay, they are even more money. Um, but it just fascinated me because it's all about Chanel. And you can cut... I don't know whether perhaps somebody's already cut some of them out or not, but you can cut them out or something. I'm not really sure. Um, but it does things. Um, but I actually like the story as well. I thought it would be very interesting to read the story. Um, so as you can see, you can, like, do something. And then I think it it's to do with you can, like, display it and stuff, how you stand it open. It It's, I don't know, it's just fascinating. Um... What a beautiful book. Um, I do like books and I thought it's just so lovely. So I think you're perhaps supposed to take those bits off as you've re as you've read it. Um, and then it like displays. It's very pretty. Um, I loved it. So that was everything I bought. And it's raining. My husband's brought the rain back with him. He said it was raining. And it is. It's raining all over little Percy. Bless him. Look. A very wet little Percy. Please don't leak, because <laughs> obviously his roof comes off. Um, I can't wait to go out in him. I'm so excited. He even looks cheerful in the rain, doesn't he? From Purse of the Fiat to Purse of the Pigeon. <laughs> Purse of the Pigeon's come to see me. He's on my garage roof in the rain, bless him. Mm, so my hubby's gone off to work. And now it's my turn for tea, so. There is my beautiful sweet and sour chicken with two little spring rolls. So I've not had as many calories today in the daytime so that I could save it for these little spring rolls. They're so lovely. Oh, I often enjoy it. Honestly, this is one of my favourite teas. Ooh, my tea was lovely. Is it your tea time now? Woo! Yay! That's it, Winifred. Really, do you know where your dinner goes? In that bowl. <laughs> yes, it's coming. And finally... The sun made a bit of an appearance. You can just see it through my blind. Oh, it's been a funny day again, weather-wise. It's so strange. Oh, it really is. I'm going to love you and leave you. We must pick a winner for the peg lady as well. Um, I'm very excited to see where she's going to end up. So, many thanks for joining me again today. I hope you've enjoyed it. So, if you do enjoy just a little bit of real life, obviously we've been charged shopping, which makes you feel a million times better, then please subscribe to my channel. Come and find me on Instagram as Mrs. Crazy Bag Lady. My dogs have got Instagram, which is Free Fluffles. My website is down below. My Avon's down below. My Vintage's down below. It's all down below. So I love you and leave you. I'll see you tomorrow.